What's up guys? So today we're doing a quick little, we're going to do a, try and do a little base map tuning here on this Cobra RTP. I don't know how to use this chip. I've always had Honda. This is just what it came with, my P28. I'll probably take it out and put it in a, a S300 V3 for Honda. So it's just, that's the software I know. It's easier to use. Sure, it's more expensive, but it's just a better, it's just a better deal. So anyways, first step is to take this apart. Um, obviously you can see the chip is right here. So I got to take off the top and then see which version that I have, and then I have to download the, the corresponding drivers that correlate to this chip. So it's not exactly as as foolproof as you'd expect it to be, but like I said, I'll keep you guys, I don't know, this, this whole thing is just a joke, but it's a lot of learning. So like I said, as long as we get this thing started and running, we're assuming that's probably the most contributing factor is the four bar map sensor and the injectors are just spitting out too much fill to flooding the engine. So. Um, the plan is just get a base map, kind of clean some things up, get it running at least. I don't know if I'll be able to drive it, but we'll get it running and um, see how healthy it is. We'll run it for a while, put some new gas in it and such. But yeah, that's the plan for today. After closer analysis, obviously you guys can see that this is a much smaller chip than the Honda, um, and there's a lot less to look at here. But what we were looking for was this R6.0, which tells us the version of the chip. Um, the version online, this is an 8, and I think they have 7 or something on there. So, based off of that, we are going to be working with a lot of older software. So, this chip is not even the newest version of the Cobra RTP stuff. So, I'm not sure where this came from or when they got this or what why this is in here. So, like I said, this isn't going to be permanent. I will be taking this chip out and uh, going the other route of just putting in a Honda to S300. So, and I already have the deals in the works for that, so we're getting that So going. I got the drivers installed. So what you had to do was you had to download the driver installer for the setup. It was the 3.0 version. It's right up front. For some reason on my computer, it didn't give me that program. So I just didn't have anything to work with with that. But this one, it did. Uh, I was able to install the drivers through that um, because my Windows is, I'm on Windows 10, by the way, just so you guys know. Um, and then you have to change the settings, which it should auto, it was already automatically on Honda Tuning Suite. Um, but you have to go into the configuration settings on the utility for their program, switch it over to Honda Tuning Suite. I also enabled data logging as well, kind of eh, whatever. Um, we're not going to be doing that, any of that stuff, but you can. It's the, the options enabled. And then I went into my settings um, on the Honda Tuning Suite, and you have to go into your settings here, and then, oops, excuse me. Um, uh, enable the emulators Cobra RTP and then you have to make sure your comms are also matched up in your device manager so to do that you just type in device manager and then I'll show you guys here I think I did it so you just type in device manager right here you'll go down to your ports slash comms you'll see it right there and then you'll see the Cobra RTP is the only thing that's plugged in here so as long as these COM 3 and 4s are all good, I think that's what the settings were on here. We are good to go for that. It's reading that properly, and I think we're ready to start tuning with Honda Tuning Suite. All right, so now we're going to attempt to connect to the board. The chip is plugged in. It's got the blue light shining, so that means we know where we're connecting. Before it wasn't. So now we just hit this connect slash disconnect to emulator. Real-time emulation is on. Any changes will be instantly uploaded. Awesome. No. So yep, now we're connected. As you can see, emulator is connected. Data logging is disconnected. That was what that was prompting for. I'm not going to be data logging. I'm obviously not driving a car right now, so we're not going to be making any sudden changes to anything. But now we can pretty much write any data we need um, through this Honda tuning suite right over. It's super sweet, super simple. Obviously, this isn't as great as the Honda does. Um, program. I will be buying their software here eventually, and I think what I'll do is I'll probably take this out, unsolder it all, and then sell this chip for whatever I can get for it, and then um, put this Honda S300 in here. It's got the Bluetooth, and I don't know if this one has Bluetooth because this is the version 6.0, but I know the uh, I think the 8s do, the R8s. So um, I'm not used to using the Cobra stuff. This is the first time for me, but so far it's been pretty straightforward, aside from the driver stuff. So if you're confused about that, feel free to ask. Um, I can kind of help you guys. I can make a little quick little tutorial on how to do it because I was a little confused. But they make it pretty straightforward. So that being said, we're ready to start tuning. So here are the base maps. We're going to be running at 45 PSI. These are the injector dead times we want because we're not running at 39. That's not base. It's going to be 45. So 45 PSI is going to be the 22 at 8 volts. 
and such. So it's not going to be too tough to do, but so there is that. So we're going to do that now. Much better. Okay, so then we're gonna file save. Oh, hold on. So we have 1300 cc's. We don't have any cranking fuel or anything like that fired. Like, I don't know if we're gonna need any extra cranking fuel because we're not running. We're running already big injectors. I don't think we're gonna need anything else there. Um, CTPS, we can't do any of that. But fuel injector stuff looks better. This is with that. The only one that I don't have a good idea of what's going on. Idle settings have changed. With that. Actually, this shouldn't be a problem. I'll bring this with me so when we take it on the road, we can do some, some tuning along the way. But um, i trying to find that map sensor because that seems to be a big one. Um, the map sensor deal. Good. Rev limits, we're not going to be taking it that high. Um, and we'll set it to seven so that I know that it's good. Fine, no shift, we don't have that. Closed loop, we don't have a, a white band in there yet, so we'll deal with that later. Map sensor. So this is the one that I've been having a hard time setting up because the voltage for this thing is weird. So I can't just, I think what I'm gonna have to do is just kind of go with one of these just a, an industry standard four bar like the omni power or the skunk 2 or the speed factory so i'm trying to find data on these online to see if they match up with my k-tuned one because the k-tuned one is the same thing as the honda but they obviously don't honda tuning suite doesn't have support for honda stuff in here they don't like them obviously so um i can't seem to find any i have the k-tuned data available but i don't have any information for these ones so i still got to dig into which ones these are so that way i can just plug these ones in and that will make the map sensor function and be done we don't have to worry about it um i don't want to use this chip long term like i said i just want to get this car running with what i have and then we'll make a deal um to get an s300 if i have to pay 500 fine so be it but um you know we should be fine so yeah, that's the plan with that. So like I said, I'm gonna dig into this and figure out if I can actually see if these are what, uh, which ones of these will work for what I got. So yeah, same thing with this Omni bar or Omni Power 4 bar. So we'll check it out. Okay, so just doing some quick research here. I think for the for the map sensor, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna end up running the Speed Factory 4 bar. Uh, I just found the map sensor data for the Speed Factory. They have their two and a half, their three, and their four bar stuff. They even have some of the studies they recommend. The scaler and the offset are the exact same compared to the uh, K-tuned one. Everything is the same here. And I think the voltages are not far off. Uh, minimum voltage, obviously, for the AEM settings. I mean, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see back there, but the settings are pretty damn close. 4.8 is pretty much the max voltage you can run, and obviously zero being the minimum. So we're gonna end up running the Speed Factory one here just so that we can get that out of the way and I don't have to deal with any of that stuff. So we're gonna end up running the Speed Factory 4 bar. And then we're just gonna save that. Yeah, everything else here looks fine. Um, we're not. We're not using closed loop data logging stuff. VTech is enabled, so idle is at 1000, so we know that the thing will run fine. Um, and it was running on a stock map sensor, so hopefully we're good to go there. But yeah, we're gonna try and, we're gonna, see there it is right there. So now we're gonna upload this base map to the ECU. So it looks like we're good to go, and I'm gonna do it again. I think we're good.